welcome to another episode of Genealogy with me. Uh, I am Rachel of Toll Genealogy. If you don't know me yet, I'm a professional genetic genealogist based in the UK, um, but I do work in the UK and the US and elsewhere, but mainly the UK and the US. Um, so we're going to do something a bit different um, today. I for probably the last year have been talking about a blog series that I wanted to do which basically kind of investigated the various famous people that I am supposedly related to. Um, However it turns out I don't like blogging that much Um, yeah (laughs) I really do quite like doing the whole video thing so I thought we just turn it into a video series well not a video series part of genealogy with me we're going to investigate some of these famous uh, relatives and see if they actually are famous well not relatives yeah I guess famous relatives so let's have a look so if you don't know what I'm talking about um, it's a feature on Family Search, so FamilySearch.org. They have um, a thing called Famous Relatives. So you can see here that I'm apparently related to all these famous U.S. presidents. Um, we've got Abraham Lincoln there, Winston Churchill, obviously UK, like probably the most famous UK. Prime Minister there is, we've got Richard Nixon, Um, we've got Diana Princess of Wales, we've got lots of inventors, uh, various entertainers and artists, like some that I definitely would like, I would like to be related to these people, Agatha Christie, Jane Austen, I love Jane Austen, Um, Audrey Hepburn, I love Audrey Hepburn, Um, yeah, And then we've got like Neil Armstrong, Amelia Earhart and some athletes that I'm not a sports person. So the only one there I've actually heard of is Babe Ruth because Boston Red Sox. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what I thought we'd do is um, pick one of these and delve. So um, I'd already pre-decided because she's so like she was so iconic um, and obviously I'm British. She's British. She was British. We're going to look at Diana, Princess of Wales. So, here is the trees. So, on the left hand side you have me, on the right hand side you have um, Princess Diana. Now, how I am going to do this is basically work back through my tree to see if I think it's true that I relate to these people at the top and if we do, if I do think that's true, then we'll work through hers. Now the reason I'm not going to work through hers first is, you know, I'm fairly confident that her her tree is going to have been so well researched and she's, you know, connected to very well-known families that I suspect there is enough documentation to say that she definitely does descend from these people. I already know that is not true (laughs) for my side, shall we say. So we're going to work back my side. So obviously this is me, perfect likeness, I think you'll agree. Then we've got my dad. Then we've got my granddad, and um, we, so we'll start with John Thomas Toll. So that's correct. He was definitely my great grandfather. If you know my story, then you'll know that we discovered him through um, DNA evidence. Um, if you don't know that story, there'll be a future video on that as well. So. so um, Otherwise, there's a blog you can go and read on my website, toldgenealogy.com. Um, but yes, this is my great grandfather. I can say for absolute certain that that's correct. So John Paul Toll was his father. His parents were Thomas Toll and Sarah Talbot. Sarah Talbot's pers- um, parents were Paul Talbot and Anne Shepler. 
um, Elizabeth Rachel Teal is definitely true, Emmanuel Teal is definitely true, and Hannah Randall is definitely true. And although it's quite unusual to have DNA evidence that far back, as well as there being good documentary evidence this far back, um, there's also, yeah, it's quite unusual to have DNA evidence back. How many generations is that even? So we'll say from my dad, because it's my dad's DNA. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I have, um, yeah, DNA evidence eight generations back. And I think that's partially because um, the teals um, appear in my tree twice. And in fact, if, if I remember correctly, Hannah Randall appears in my tree twice. Um, we can double check that, actually. Why don't we? Yes, you can actually see it right here. So if we look at Sarah Talbot's tree... So to Sarah Talbot's parents, uh, I can't do that relationship in my head because maths, not my strong point. I still have to look at the cousins chart and everything. But you can see her, both her maternal, sorry, start again, both her grandmothers were named Teal. So we have Elizabeth Rachel Teal, who was the herself was the great granddaughter of Edward Teal and Hannah Randall. Rachel Teal was the that's the is that the same? No, that's not the same. I always get confused at this point. Get confused in my own tree. Uh, Rachel Teal was that's right. So Rachel Teal was the great granddaughter of the same Hannah Randall. So as you can see, there's a bit of a gap in, although it's the same generation of my family, um, there's a bit of a gap in the generations as far as they're concerned. So, so yeah, so I have more, and my dad has more Teal, Edward Teal and Hannah Randall DNA than we would otherwise have. So, now, so you can see that I have not built out Hannah Randall's tree. I have her in my tree. In fact, I haven't even added dates for her there. Oh, I haven't even merged them. I should do that. Let's do that whilst we're here. Because I know they're the same person. She did marry both people twice. So we are going to merge her. We can do that right now. Okay. Mergey McMerge. And I yeah, okay, so we have Edward, it looks like I need to, my tree, I think I said in a previous video, my personal tree is really messy. It's, um, it's not a good advert for what I do for a business, but uh, that's because I started it when I was a very, very baby genealogist, uh, like 20, I don't, don't even remember when Ancestry came to the UK, but it must have been around the year 2000. So, right, now we've done that minor bit of tidying up. Right, so you can see that I have actually added Christopher Randall to the tree. Um, but I haven't added any concrete information for him. I haven't added parents. If I look, I'm essentially going to get a whole lot of... Um, trees with information um none of it i'm going to pay any attention to at all um because they're all false <laughs> no i don't know that they're 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 other people's bits of research um and historical records that there would be absolutely no way for me to know if it's the same person or not um so what we do here so I'm good I said I'm good up to here yet um now here's the thing so this Christopher Randall I am pretty sure I'm not absolutely 100% sure but I am pretty sure that Hannah Randall was the daughter of Christopher Randall right pretty sure on that and actually we will go and look at one of those records because I think there is a record that 
does give a little bit of information about Christopher Randall um, in those ancestry hints. Um, but here's the thing. I don't think there's any evidence to say that Christopher Randall was the son of Vincent Randall. Vincent Randall, or actually Randall, R-A-N-D-Y-L, definitely, he definitely existed. He's, he was a member of the, um, the gentry. Um, he's in things like the peerage records of the, of the time. Um, but I don't recall there being any evidence that says that that Christopher Randall who ends up in Maryland is the son of Vincent Randall. Um, and it's a fairly common name. So I'm going to see what we can find. Before we do that, actually, um, when I was going to do this as a blog article about a year ago, um, originally, what relationship does it say now? It says, it says Diana is my 13th cousin. Um, originally, Family Search, I've seen from my notes here, Family Search said that my, that Diana was my 12th cousin, tw sorry, Diana was my 12th cousin once removed um, through a right honourable something of Ireland and Catherine Cusack. Um, I can tell you just from the notes that I've got here that it thought we were related through, I think, my McCoon line. Um, possibly on this Hamilton side, I can't really recall. But the point is, clearly somebody has said, no, that's not true. And so it's been delinked, as it were. Yes, I've put in my note that... Elizabeth Montgomery is where the wheels fall off. <laughs> Who knows? I don't. I don't recall. That's where my notes end, unfortunately. Um, okay, so let's take a look. She. Before we do that, let's look at the the hints for Hannah Randall. If we got anything we didn't have before, going to ignore that. Going to ignore the trees. Uh, I'm going to ignore that. I already have that, so I don't need to put it again. I don't know what this is. Uh, can't even see. Oh, Hannah Randall. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, it's not useful to us right now. Um, it sounds like there's a will um, in Maryland. Uh, which, you know, the actual will may have further information if it is for her. But um, I'm just going to leave that there for now. Uh, well, this is annoying. It wants me to download something. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to move that so you can read it. Edward was the grandson of Hannah Randall by her second marriage to Edward Teal. Sarah was the granddaughter of Hannah Randall and first husband Nathaniel Stinchcombe. So it's not telling us anything we didn't already have. So, okay, thanks for sharing. Going to ignore that. Right, okay, so let's look at Christopher Randall. So I had taken his dates from these two records. Now, these are two separate publications um, that are on Ancestry. Um, they were not written, obviously, at the time. They've been written more recently, but they seem to have been fairly well researched. Um, so this is what it's telling us. It's already telling us... Um, sorry, one thing I forgot to say is that um, Charles Randall is sometimes called Christopher and it seems that his name was Christopher Charles Randall or I don't know maybe he went by both names but it does everything I have indicates it's the same man and quite often he's named as um, Christopher Charles Randall so 
Christopher Randall, progenitor of the family, was in Baltimore County by November 1675. Now, here's point number one. If he was descended from Vincent Randall, who was a well-known, as I said, a well-known kind of member of the um, peerage at the time, would they not have said that? Here? Would they, would they not have made some mention of that? No. And do you know why there's no mention of that? Because no one knows who his parents were. That, that information has not survived in records, as far as we know, at least. We do know when he died. He died in test date um, by... This is a bit strange, but I don't think anyone knows which year it is. But anyway, 25, 25th of February 1684 or eighteen. 18- 1685. My guess is that the original record is somewhat illegible um, or it's unclear how the dates have been recorded so that's why there's some confusion on the dates. I don't know because I've never been able to see that original record. Uh, he married married a lady called Johanna who was the widow of George Norman who died in 1677. So we don't know um, Johanna's uh, maiden name. Um, that has not that information has not survived, unfortunately. Um, la 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 la. Uh, Randall had three tracts of land surveyed for him in, I think that's Anne Arundel County between July sixteen seventy nine and June sixteen eighty. La da da da. Um, okay, let's move on. Christopher and. Johanna had issue Christopher born about 1682. Hannah, my ancestor, born about 1682. She married, first of all, Nathaniel Stinchcombe, who I'm also related to. And then she married, um, in 1710, Edward Teal. And there was another son called Thomas. Uh, I don't know if it tells us about Hannah. I don't think it does. No. Okay. So we have that information on Christopher. Christopher Randall. So this is again is another book that was um, published. Um, I want to say these books were published around the um, 1980s. Um, They're not old, old. They're just, yeah. A few years back, I guess. Well, to me, I know I look young, but to me, 1980s is a few years back. You know, if there's younger people watching this, they're probably like, my God, that was like decades ago. Shut up. Can you not help on my grey hairs? Anyway, Christopher Randall, immigrant. Again, no information as to his history. Um, He owned a plantation on the North Severn River in Anne Arundel county he died this one says he died in 19 uh sorry in 1684 in testate um johanna was his uh widow oops um his report of 1686 mentions wife joan joan and johanna we can pretty much say those names were interchangeable um i have seen jane joan johanna um, yeah, I've seen any kind of variation on those meaning the same person, so I'm not concerned that that name says something different. Um, okay. We don't have anything else useful in that. Um, I apparently have not got Johanna in my tree. I did have her in. Uh, no, she's really not. I don't know where she's gone let's put johanna in though oh king silly king wow i cannot type today okay there we go right what other hints do we have then so we don't want to look at that don't care um Uh, that's 
not very exciting. Ignore. I'm not going to look at a tree. I would like to look at history. Difficult to discover the English connection for our Randall lines. Several suggested birth dates and places on the LDS family search, but none offer any proof. That's the thing. Yeah, no proof. Uh, Christopher Randall was transported to Maryland in 1660 or in 1673. Presumably the earlier date was another man of the same name. Um, right, so whoever this guy is who posted this information, um, thank you. Thank you for doing a good job in what um, information you've found. Um, I mean, given that there's clearly footnotes that aren't in this, he's probably, it's probably done from some research or something. I don't know. Um, to Christopher Randalls. Now, I'm going to say that I all, almost, I, I'm not going to take bets on it, but I almost guarantee that there were more than two Christopher Randalls in England in the mid-1600s. I just, yeah, it's not that uncommon of a name, okay? Um, I would say all of this means is that they're in records that are available online, there are two Christopher Randalls. But if we accepted there were only two, neither of those are son, sons of a Vincent Randall. So yeah. Okay. Right. So um, what I think we want to do is look, rather than trying to link the Christopher we know about to Vincent and Dorothy, I think we need to work forwards actually. So what I'd like to do is see if I can find a record for Vincent Randall in any kind of peerage books or peerage information and essentially see if there's, we can find a list of his, his, find a list of his offspring anywhere. So let's look for Vincent Randall, see what we can find out about Vincent Randall. Well, this is interesting. We have a Reddit, Reddit comment here. Um, yeah, I've noticed a few records seem to, to suggest that Vincent Randall um, died in Baltimore um, in 1673. I think someone's just made, like, full on made that up. Um, right, here's a bit of information. So I don't know who this person is, but we can, he's given us some sources so we can have a look. Um, Vincent Randall, son of Sir Edward Randall of Albury certainly existed. He lived and died in England. Never came to Maryland. His son Morgan was a member of Parliament. So Edward Randall was succeeded by his son Sir Morgan Randall, who was de interesting. Who was declared insane in 1640 and succeeded by Vincent, who was the next heir at law. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think, is try to find um, any information I can about Vincent Randall and his wife Dorothy Duncombe. Um, it'd be amazing if we can find somewhere a list of his children or a will or anything like that. So um, I have pulled up some background information that I've been able to find. So um, we have I have a search here ready at the Internet Archive for books that contain his name. Um, I've tried to look it up in a few kind of peerage records um, 
and actually it's not coming up. So I'm I'm wondering if I'm maybe wrong, thinking he was um, in the peerage. Maybe he actually wasn't. Um, in fact, I think he. I probably am wrong about that. Um, but he's he's you know uh, has money. Should we say he has money um, or had money? Um, so this is so Vincent definitely did have a son called Morgan. Um, Morgan became a member of Parliament, which is why there's some records surviving for him. Um, and that does say that his um, grandfather was Sir Edward Randall of Albury. Um, and actually, that gives me an idea for another search. So, um, so Sir Edward Randall of Albury acquired Chilworth, that's Chilworth Manor, by marrying the only child of Sir John Morgan. The family owned considerable property around Guildford, including two gunpowder mills. Okay. Um, that's... Chilworth is in Surrey, right? Chilworth Manor. It is in Surrey. So, Surrey Archives. Sorry, History Centre. So, it looks like Vincent was... Um, he was a, a lawyer at some point or he enough you know he's admitted to Gray's Inn which is still around today um Morgan Randall where's Vincent Randall So November the 1st, 1631, he's admitted to Gray's Inn. Doesn't tell us any more information than that. Ooh, there's a will. Uh, whilst we're waiting for that, if there's a will, if there's a will, there's a way. National Archives. Looks like there's a lot. Okay. But what I'm interested in is this. Is, is this him? Where's St. Martha? St. Martha, Surrey. This is our guy. Okay. I feel like I've had this before. I feel like I've been here before. Um, okay, I don't know when I've done this, this research before. Clearly I've done this research before and I don't remember and I haven't made notes. That's very helpful. Um, hey kids, if you're doing genealogy, make sure you keep notes. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. <laughs> So this is his will. Um, actually, I'm going to just, I'll be back. Um, okay, so can I make this bigger? Now, you are probably not going to be able to read this um, unless you're, you have great eyesight um, and are really familiar with... Um, deciphering um, wills written in secretary hand, which is what this strange handwriting you see before you looks like. Um, so I will attempt to read it out loud, the bits that I think are relevant. So the 16th day of November uh, in this... Uh, I'm not sure what that says. Fifth, this in the fifth, five and twentieth 
five, I think it's five, I'm not sure. Um, and 20th year of the reign of our uh, suffering. Lord Christ, blah, 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 blah. In this year of our Lord, um, 600. And is that. S I can't tell if that's. 70 or. S 60, I think 70, 73 of Vincent Randall, I say Martha on the Hill, uh, they're just saying that he's a sound mind and all that kind of um, stuffs. So basically what I'm looking for is names of who he's giving things to. First, I will and desire that all my just and faith, I don't know, something, debts be paid, blah, 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 out of my personal estate. And in the next, uh, loving, I don't know, love, maybe loving, wife Dorothy shall have for her maintenance. Um, so it's mentioning his wife, uh, personal estate to the said, uh, said annuity or yearly payment of our, of our 100 pounds, uh, to be paid to her during her life. Okay. So still what he's giving to his wife, uh, Still talking about his wife. Something about the little parlour with all the bedding, coverings, furniture and opportunity. They're too belonging. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't do a lot of paleography because um, I don't, my eyes can't really cope with it, to be honest. Um Right, as far as I can tell, we haven't got to any children yet. Uh, it's all still Dorothy. Okay, all right, so this is... Ah, we've got, we're getting on to some children. Okay, I give and bequeath to my daughter, Anne. I should be writing this down. Um... um do I have a back of an envelope? I do have a back of an envelope. Okay. So. Uh, daughter Anne. Uh, 1,000 pounds of lawful English money. And I give and bequeath to my son. There's a son, Edward. Son, Edward. Randall. Uh, 500 pounds of lawful English money and I give and bequeath to my son, Vincent. Uh, 300 pounds of lawful English money and I give and bequeath to my daughter, Francis, I think that says. Went very high pitched then, didn't I? Um, Francis. Uh, Francis and uh, 300 pounds of lawful English money and I give and bequeath to my son, Roger. This is a Roger Randall. Oh, that's a nice name, isn't it? Roger Randall. Uh, 400 pounds of uh, lawful in English, uh, lawful money, uh, I give and bequeath to my son, Morgan. Morgan, so we already knew about Morgan. And I give and bequeath to my daughter, Jane, I want to say that says. $20,000 
20 pounds and I give and bequeath to my servant. Right, we seem to have run out of children. There's, there's no further children mentioned and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven, so seven children are named. I mean, that's not to say that he didn't have an, uh, any more children that he's just not giving anything to, but... I'm still the point is there's no evidence for a Charles or a Christopher uh, so it looks so in this section here it looks like um, he's changing his will um, a little bit. Um, so be it known that whereas I, Vincent Randall of Chilworth in the parish of St. Martha in the county of S in the county of Surrey, Esquire, made my last will and testament in writing. Uh, can't read that dates sixteenth um, day of November last. Last past, um, that now, I don't know what that says, um, he's changed his mind on certain things. Um, so is he adding people in? Looks like he's changing what he's given to his daughter Anne and Francis. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's now giving giving them five hundred pounds. He's giving son four hundred pounds instead of three hundred. So I don't know. Maybe he's got a bit richer and he's just decided to give them a bit more money. I'm not sure. Um, but again, I'm not seeing any new children, or any more children, I should say, mentioned in that section. Um, this is very hard to read. I think it's just the finishing up, saying, yeah, everything's above board. Um, this section here, um, I would need to go and look up the Latin. But this is where it's going into probate, so he's died at this point. Um, so scepter something. Um, did we have a date before? We did. I didn't write it down, did I? Um, 1670-something he's died. Um He hasn't died in Maryland though. So I think the deciding that Vincent Randall dies in Maryland is utter tosh, if you want my opinion. If anyone wants to find a record that, that proves he died in um in Maryland, feel free. S send it to me. Um right, let's have a look. Surrey History Centre have any inf have any documents relating to Vincent Randall? They have quite a lot by the look of it. None I actually want to go and read. What we could also do... Um, Right, no Christopher Randalls. What about a Charles Randall? No Charles Randalls. 
Probably should do the same here. It's a child's oh 1838 that does not help us um charles randall charles randall or randall oh 1816 doesn't help us this looks interesting oh i'd have to actually go down to q to look at that so interesting but not accessible on the internet right now um, and I can't take you along with me to the National Archives sadly um, just one more thing I thought to look up Christopher Randall well I guess we could do Randall uh, no we'll search for Aubrey well those are just people's trees saying that that happened oh Albury christenings this is this is nice and I'd be I'd like it even more if it was not transcripts but um okay cool um I wonder if these are anywhere because we we know what the church probably is, don't we, I think? St. Martha on the hill. St. Martha on the hill, Surrey. St. Martha's church. St. Martha's church. Jillworth Parish Records. It's got images. Still not giving us um I want the images. Can I not have the images please? Image unavailable. Ooh, okay. Right, well, we can kind of. We, we, can, we can work with this. So, so, Vincent Randall was born, or christened, is uh, baptized uh, 17 North. 1614 oops uh, look at burials as well actually um, right so these are probably siblings another record told us that Morgan Ra Randall was the oldest son so he's born 1649 Jane born 1651 son Vincent born 1653 uh, John Randall did I have a John I did not have a John um, I mean not necessarily his child but looks like probably is oh actually that's where we seem to run out okay um 16 
63. So we're missing baptized, baptism records for Anne, Edward, Francis, Roger, oh, and of course Christopher slash Charles. Um, okay. I'm going to get rid of that page. Uh, not really any oh. okay so they are all Edwards so those were his siblings basically they're all or Walter Francis and Love were all children of Edward Randall okay so I don't really think we can do any more um but I think the point is, this Christopher Randall, it does not look like he is the son of Vincent Randall. Um, and therefore, sadly for me, I am not related to Princess Diana. So I'm sorry to, you know, let you all down at the end of this genealogy with me. Um, yeah. I'm not related to Princess Diana. And I think we'll find, because um, I'm going to do some more of these um, in future episodes, um, I think we'll find that there's quite a few people that descend from that, or that I'm supposed to be related to along that route. Um, so there sadly are some that we can immediately say that is not true. Um, we'll just see how it goes. I suspect the end result is going to be that I'm actually not related to any of these people at all. Um, one thing that's funny is they used to be on here. It used, it used to tell me that I was related to Humphrey Bogart. Now that's gone. I don't know why it's gone, but that's the one that I was pretty sure was true. <laughs> um, but I didn't make a note of it at the time. I didn't screenshot it or anything, so I don't remember how it thought we were related um but it was on my um dutch site i have not like a, a new amsterdam dutch branch of my tree coming from again my, my great grandfather john thomas toll um and i am pretty sure that's true not just because of paper records but also um dna evidence which again because it's quite interlinked there's a lot of DNA evidence on that side. Um, so on my side, at least, I thought it was true. Um, but sadly, like I said, I didn't make my notes because I'm a naughty genealogist who doesn't keep a note of things when she does silly little bits of research like that. Um, and I now don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe his side was wrong. Who knows? Anyway. Um, I will see you next week going back onto verifying my own tree, which is not quite as exciting as potentially being, you know, related to famous people, but um, I hope you'll enjoy it anyway. Um, in the meantime, let me know if you play with this tool, um, if you've found that you're related, like really related to somebody famous or well-known, um, or if it tells you you are and you don't think it's true either um let me know in the comments what you think of this tool yeah i mean it's quite good fun i think it's fun anyway all right take care bye mm -hmm.